in this video i'm going to show you why nothing is showing up on your elevation and how you can solve it okay so first of all let's go and look at the elevation and see what we are having okay so here we have our elevation let me select the east elevation look at what we are seeing we are not seeing the elevation fully that's number one and the grids the levels i mean are not showing fully look at how many levels we are supposed to be seeing but we are not seeing nothing there so on the north elevation we are seeing all the levels let me zoom to fit but we are not seeing anything at all we are not seeing all these beautiful block works that we are seeing over here okay so let's go to the south elevation and see what we are seeing oh we are not seeing let me zoom to fit we are not seeing anything like the levels and the entire path of the building and the entire part of the building okay so when we go to the west we are seeing only one level there okay zooming to fit the same thing one level so by the end of this tutorial we are going to fix this and we're going to be seeing everything we should be seeing on an elevation okay and i will take you step by step on how you can be able to do that different options of how you can do that and what each option you choose means and what the implication of each option you choose is if that is something you want to learn please stay tuned and do not go nowhere so welcome back um let's go to the first floor let's figure out why this thing is happening okay so this right here is an elevation camera we have four of them here and those are the things that are generating these views that we are having here so on selecting this elevation you will see there are four different directions that you should be able to select okay so if you select the tip of this elevation you will see what the elevation camera is seeing okay first of all this elevation is tilted to an angle it is not orthogonal okay not exactly it is not zero degrees it has an angle tilting to it and that is um bad news so we need to do something about that but then let's look at take a look at this one this one too has the same thing so you need to check your model to find out if you have a similar case where your elevations are all tilted to an angle okay there's something else i want us to notice you notice this dotted line with an with double arrows pointing left and right okay when you hover around it drag will come out so that is where you drag the elevation extent from so what this thing is showing me is this elevation can only see to this extent of this building okay so if i go to that elevation i will just see just a part of the building that the elevation is covering okay so it is just seeing the views that are you know take it down like so so that's why we saw some part like when we go back to that elevation you can see we saw some part of this building and then this one so here you will see say it again anything any part of this wall that you know pass through this place down to this side is being shown by this elevation but then we want this entire building that is facing towards this direction to show okay so what we are going to do first of all is select all these elevations and delete them because number one they are tilted to an angle that is just that is the only reason that you need they are tilted to an angle so we have to get rid of them and draw an elevation and i'll show you how to draw an elevation that is not tilted to an angle and also what to do to be able to see everything you need to see so i'm going to select this and i'm going to right click and i'm going to do select all instances in the entire project and then all of them are selected so i'll hit the delete okay and now i have no elevation views so don't do not worry we are going to create another one right now so on the view tab okay on the create panel you see elevation so click on it and then come over here when you come closer you will see the elevation camera pointing towards the object you want to view so you click on it the same thing happens here you click again all right you click again and also you click again all right so when you click on this you will see that the camera is straight all right it is no longer treated to an angle so we have solved one of the issues we are having now let's go to that elevation and see what's going on okay we are seeing some part of this building but we're not seeing everything yet all right and that reason is because you guess it right 
this is not covering the entire building, okay? Now, one of the ways we can do that is just to drag this camera down to this place. When we do that, I will go back to the elevation. You can see everything is now showing, including the level. So you can just select it. Let me reduce this scale right here. Let me make it scale one is to 200 at least. Uh, everything is at least manageable. So you select the, the level and then you can now drag it down. Okay. You can even add shoulder to this one. So nothing is obscuring anything's view okay so everything is showing as they should let's go ahead and select this second floor level okay select select what's going on hit tap tap yes uh, of course i've selected it so drag it down for some reason this was not a yes but now if I move any, every anything, all of them moves along. Okay, so let me ensure that the, the tail is also connected to others as well. Yeah, there you have it. So this is one of the way you can solve that issue. Okay, of not seeing everything in the elevation. Okay, now let's look at other ways we can do that. So when I select this one, you find out that that same issue, we can either drag it down or we can do something to it. So now, that's in second level. Let's go ahead and change the scale to 1 in 200, like we did before. So which other way can we do this then? All right? So on the properties palette, when you go down here, you see fat clipping. Okay? You know, I'm not selecting anything. So this properties palette is now showing me settings, which I can use to edit this elevation view. So on this fat clipping, you see clip without line. Okay? So when you drop it down, and you set it to no clip, okay? And then you hit okay. Everything will show straight up. Like you don't even need to go and drag lines. So now when we go to the first floor, to the plan level, whatever plan level you want to go to, and you select it, you notice that that line that we were seeing before is no longer there, okay? And things are showing. But now the downside to this part is if you have building right behind this that you don't want it to show, you just want to focus your view. On this building okay those building you have no control they will always show because there is no clipping again everything that is behind on this side of this building is going to show up on this elevation if you want me to show you what i mean i'll just come over here select the wall tool okay and then um select the wall tool and then use the rectangle draw tool okay let's set some parameters here Let's set it from the ground floor to the second floor. So we'll be we we'll ensure that it shows. All right. So let's go back to that elevation view. That is that wall I just created. Let me go to the 3D view. Okay. Let's let's make this as tall as possible. Okay. Let's unhook it from on, from the top, top constraint and make it like say um 15 meters. Okay. Let's make it 30 meters. I want it to be very, very exaggerated so notice it well so this is that wall there's no way we can tell revit i don't want us to see this wall all we can do is select and hide it which is not nice but then if we if we go back to that setting on the properties palette the far clipping setting and then we set it to clip with line okay let's go back to that place and you see if we drag it to the extent to which we want it to go and then we go back to the and then we'll go back to the view. You see, that wall is still there, but we're not seeing it. But if we change it here again, let's just change it so that we understand. To no clip, okay? Everything shows no control, no nothing at all. That's how you can get your views to be showing appropriately what you want it to show, okay? And then the two settings you can use to set it in such a way that you can see everything to infinity or you can see just what you want to see. All right, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it solved an issue that you are having. If it did, please give us a like. And if you're new to this channel, if this is the first time you're watching our channel, welcome, okay? We drop videos like this every single week, okay? Consider subscribing. Not only that, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video.